Hey guys, a bit more goings on at the old Japanese farmhouse. This is the back of the house. Obviously it's fairly ugly back here. And it hasn't been made much better by the fact that these old fly screens, old insect screens have been nailed into place basically. Uh, the old windows, it is hard to fit screens to the old windows. So basically what the old gentleman did was he just put some screen up and then nailed on some bits of wood to keep it in place which is a bit ugly and not real practical because it means that well at least seven to ten years since those windows have been cleaned because you haven't been able to get to them because the screens nailed in place so uh, these windows here that go to the tatami room there's no screen at all so those of you who have been following the progress at the old house know that we actually put we replaced the screens at the front of the house, which means we've been able to open the windows there. Uh, but obviously the back of the house has been a bit of a problem, so we need to address this. As summer is here and it's quite warm, so we need to get some throat flow through ventilation. So these old windows have got uh, amado, uh, which are these basically weather, weather, uh, what do you call that in English? Weather uh, screens, weather shutters weather shutters on all the windows including at the front we actually did a video on the Amado once before it showed you Amado on old buildings and on new buildings in Japan even brand new buildings are built with shutters but interestingly nobody uses them so when we do have a typhoon come which is supposed to be when these things are used for when we do have a typhoon come nobody nobody shuts their shutters so that I've ever noticed so uh, we never do and our neighbours never do. I've never seen anybody close shutters during a typhoon. So uh, they just don't get used. So usually the armados just stay in their sort of alcoves in there and slowly deteriorate. So if we can't use the armado, I don't think they'll be missed. So with that in mind, we'll uh, try to find a good solution. So in a lot of other countries, you can just buy lengths of the uh, fly screen frame but in Japan you have to buy kits and because they only assume that a home handyman would only only build one fly screen they sell these individual kits for one window you can buy different different sizes uh, so that you buy it and the idea is you buy it and they give you a little hacksaw there and you can cut it to length and make your own fly screen but they assume you're only going to make one so they give you this kit that has has a has a saw and it has a little roller and has all the stuff assuming that you'd only do one window you know which makes it expensive it's, it's, it was almost a hundred dollars per kit so all the windows need one kit except for those big windows which need two kits so it's made it really expensive so I bought one kit we got the unskilled labor onto it uh, take the old screen down and uh, try to work out a way to install a fly screen that could be removed so the kits actually have wheels uh, they're made to to be sliding you know so they slide backwards and forwards on wheels but obviously that's not going to work with this style of window so we had to try and devise another way that the screens could be put on and taken down so that we can clean the windows when they need cleaning so first thing was to actually clean the window which was pretty disgusting as you can imagine 10 years without being cleaned and then try to devise some plan so the front of the house as you guys saw had aluminium windows and so they had built-in aluminium screens so that was all sort of fabulous but these ones, of course, never had screens, were never intended to have screens, so we had to devise a plan. Obviously, the rest of the back of this house needs a fair bit of work as well. It needs some paint going on and it needs a few repairs. As you can see on the left-hand side, there's a door that needs repairing. So there's a fair bit needs to be done. Um, as far as aesthetics, it doesn't really matter what it looks like back here. I just want to get it in good condition. You know, as we've said before about this house, we don't want to go over the top with how much we spend on it because it it easy to overcapitalize in Japan. So I want to keep the cost down, but we want to make it what we do. We want to last. 
we want to make stuff to last and we want to make it look acceptable so the back of the house doesn't we can't try and make it look like an old house that's not going to work obviously we want to make it look better from the inside so we've been looking out through these dirty disgusting old screens which is pretty horrible um, so we've got you know the rooms inside have been renovated as you know but we're still looking out through the crappy screens except for the tatami room which had no screens which meant that now summer's here we couldn't really open the windows without insects coming in so so with that in mind doesn't really matter what it looks like from the outside as long as it's neat and tidy and it's going to last in the weather and from the inside we want it to look acceptable so so we take the dodgy <laughs> take the dodgy pre-made kit and put it through our drop saw in our machinery room those are those people that watch all our videos will be recognizing all sorts of things here you know that room guys that's the room with the attic and that was the machine that was the drop saw that was already already here so we could put it to use which is fabulous sure is a lot more fabulous than the little ridiculous little saw that came in the kit I, I shudder to think what these things would look like if people actually tried to put them together using the tools that came with the kit <laughs> it's like a little toy saw it was terrible so that works yeah it was pretty pretty dodgy wasn't real good quality had to be modified and filed and took a bit of work to actually make it come together neatly because it wasn't really well made this stuff wasn't real well made but anyway anyway we'll put in the screen this is well there's no volume with this there was a bit of uh, a bit of bad language going on at this stage just terrible just not not good quality unfortunately the the screens that we replaced or we repaired the screens that we repaired at the front of the house were actually good quality uh, but these things just terrible and it was the best we could find unfortunately we researched this just not possible to buy the materials themselves you have to buy those kits each kit was about 7,000 yen or 6,000 yen so terrible so the plan we came up with was to put that quarter quarter bracket at the top and make it so it just fits so you can slide the frame up to get it in and then drop it down into place behind this little quarter at the bottom and with the seals at the side the rubber seals at the side that seemed to seal it up pretty well to stop the bugs getting in so that's that's working for us we're happy with that a little bit unfortunate about the aluminium but uh, it would have been nice to have some brown aluminium but uh, they didn't have it for the frame didn't have brown aluminium frame only silver but it doesn't really matter again this is the back of the house you know I mean look at it it's uh, it's got corrugated iron on the walls so it doesn't really matter so okay we decided that worked that that plan worked so we went out and spent another five hundred dollars <laughs> bought a whole bunch more kits a whole bunch more kits a whole bunch more mesh and went to work so that first room that we did there for the experiment was a dining room so this next one here's the kitchen so as you can see the frames need work the frames need painting uh, but we decided that we needed to get this screen into place because it's getting warm here it's been averaging about 25 degrees during the day so it's starting to warm up so we really need some ventilation through the house so decided the screen the screens were more important than the paint so get the screens into place and then when it comes time to paint uh, we'll just be able to pop the screens out and do the painting of the frames and then pop them back in again I guess that'll be another video guys it'll be the painting of the window frames video that'll be fascinating <laughs> we better put that up at 20 times speed to make it interesting otherwise it'll be too boring but you can see the windows are all a little bit different this uh, this window here was a little bit different than the first one so the first one we had a system we decided that worked well but then of course when it came time to do this one it was a different different style which required a, required a different system so lots of measuring and calculating and of course I had to make it so that everything just fits because you don't want a gap you know all you need is a gap of a few millimeters and you'd be having bugs coming in right so it all had to be 
calculated so we could put it in take them out easily but there was no gaps so we didn't have the bugs crawling in so yeah a bit of thinking was required a little bit of thinking was required from the unskilled labourer so I moved on this is a bedroom window third bedroom window terrible that system the gold guy had there everything's so dusty and dirty 10 years of dust in the frame in the screen even his nails the nails he used to put this stuff up are all rusty as well it's terrible wonders of the battery drill there in action gotta love the battery drill so I gather there's probably about three of you, I'd guess there's about three of you left watching this by now. <laughs> watching some old dude make fly screens is pretty boring, isn't it? But uh, but the, the videos about this old house do seem to be, uh, some people do seem to like them. So I figure we've got to show everything, give you the whole picture. So yeah, obviously this was the second day. Second day we moved on to the, it's the tatami room guys, you know the tatami room, the lounge room with the tatami in it. So there was no, no uh, screens here at all. And we wanted this a little bit neater because the other rooms, uh, as long as it looks tidy from the inside, it's okay. But this one, to being a tatami room, you sit on the floor and these big windows are a real feature in the room. So I had to devise a system that... Uh, looked as neat as possible from the inside so fortunately uh, because the windows are frosted and decorative so from inside the room um, you can't really see the frame as you'll see in a minute so anyway I'll quick before and after this is what it looked like before dear oh dear Tragic, isn't it? <laughs> As you can see, pretty hard to see through. From the inside, it was depressing. You couldn't really see outside because of the disgusting screens, which is pretty bad. Couldn't see outside, out through those windows because of the disgusting screens and couldn't really open these windows for because the bugs had come in which is a real shame in that room too so so this is what it looks like now so from the back of the house obviously it's still pretty sad it still needs a lot of work done but from the inside it's made a big difference now obviously you can see just the fact the windows are clean is making a difference you know the windows were filthy and the screens were filthy so it was pretty depressing so now the windows are clean I've got the black screen instead of the grey wire screen because the black screen from the inside you can hardly see it. So you can see when the windows are closed you can't see the screens at all. All the frames, I put the frames right in the line up with the window frame so you can't see them. So that looks okay. And then if you open the window you can just see a little bit of the aluminium at the top and the bottom but pretty much just big open window anyway hope you found that a little bit interesting more videos coming soon <laughs>